Okay, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, and I thought I'd try and answer the question, what is the best charting software? But before I start, there are some caveats I want to mention. First of all, charting software is a very personal decision. Uh, I have my personal biases, so forgive me. Uh, they will probably come out to some extent during this uh, presentation. If I make some comments that offend you about your trading platform, I apologize in advance. And everybody has a horror story. Um, traders are extremely demanding people. Uh, they expect the best all the time from everybody. And so uh, for every good story, there will be an equally bad story about a particular trading platform. So just bear that in mind when you're making your decisions. In uh, this little video, there are about 50 different charting platforms or programs kind of mentioned. Uh, I could well have some details of these wrong. I only have personal experience of about 12 of them, but I've done my best to kind of research uh, the ones that I talk about in some detail. And lastly, just to say, I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm only trying to help you if you're starting out or thinking about changing uh, your particular charting platform. So uh, here we go. The basic problem with choosing a charting platform uh, has to do with this dilemma and optimizing the balance between three decisions. The first one is uh, what methodology you use. The second one is the choice of broker you want to use. And the third one is the data, quality of data or data supplier that you want to use. And how you balance and choose between those three kind of fundamental factors uh, to a large extent, I believe, determines what charting platform is right for you. As an example, let, let me just uh, take this one driver, this bias of met methodology. If you are keen on something like uh, Fibonacci, Elliott Wave, candlestick patterns and so on, there are charting platforms and charting software out there designed specifically for you. If that's the way you want to trade, you have to choose a charting platform that supports uh, that methodology. I've listed here, I mean, there must be a couple of dozen uh, in terms of these methodology biases. We've got programs like Advanced Get, uh, which is a GAN Elliott Wave um, platform. Uh, we've got ASC Trend, which is kind of a trend following uh, trailing stop uh, type product. Automatic Pattern Search, which is obviously, as it says, Pattern Search. Dynamic Trader, another kind of uh, Fibonacci Elliott Wave type product. L Wave. Uh, Elliott Wave, obviously there, Fibonacci Trader, Fibonacci and so on, you get the idea. So if you're keen on a particular methodology, if you follow a particular guru, your choice of trading uh, platform charting software will be more limited and you need to find uh, the best package uh, that caters for that particular methodology. And just to note, there's a couple of these that I've added stars to where uh, these particular inbuilt tools are being made available for other platforms. So we've got Trade Guider with their volume spread analysis, Advanced Get, uh, and so on, MT Predictor, that are starting to develop tools, add on extras that you can load into uh, more traditional kind of charting platforms. So just bear that in mind as well. There's an other option for you. The second bias you might have is a broker bias, uh, where you believe that kind of uh, trade execution has to be uh, perfect uh, and as easy as possible. And if you're in that camp, again, your choices are a little bit more limited in terms of charting software. Uh, I've tried to list kind of the key uh, charting platforms here. We've got uh, Trader Workstation, which is part of Interactive Brokers, uh, Think or Swim, which is now owned by TD Ameritrade, and they used to have or still do have Quote Tracker. Uh, Fidelity bought uh, Wealth Lab a few uh, years ago, and so uh, each of these particular brokers have tried to uh, marry up these charting platforms and charting software as best possible uh, with their back end brokerage service. So if you've got a bias and in terms of your brokerage service, then again, choosing your charting software will to be in, to some extent kind of dictated by, by that choice of broker. And then just to uh, add a, a couple of different uh, 
um, charting software options. There are also little add-on packages. We've got Bracket Trader and Button Trader. Both of these are add-ons to interactive brokers that kind of add to the functionality of their inbuilt kind of charting and trading software, which is Trader Workstation. In that list, I probably ought to include TradeStation because they've now become a fully fledged broker, but I've left them for another section kind of later on, so just bear with me. The third bias that you might have is in terms of the quality and coverage of your uh, data feed. Uh, some people trade particular markets where uh, they need a particular combination of widespread of different markets or particular esoteric markets that they want to trade. If that's the case, you're going to have to find a data provider that caters for that particular market. Now, if you're just a Forex trader, an e-mini trader or whatever, you know, those data uh, biases are, are not really kind of applicable. But if you have, uh, if you want to be trading Kospi, uh, for example, in Korea, uh, if you want to be trading uh, German equities, uh, if you want to be trading uh, Italian bonds, you'll have to find a data provider to provide those uh, harder to find uh, type markets. And so in that case, uh, if you have this kind of data bias, you're going to be, again, limited uh, to some different uh, charting software and, and trading platforms. Uh, we've got AIQ uh, and MyTrack, which are both kind of charting software provided by TrackData, which is a data provider. You've got your traditional kind of Bloomberg, and we've also got uh, Reuters, Thomson Reuters down at the bottom. Uh, Reuters now owns Metastock, uh, which I also tackle in a, another section kind of going forward. But then you've also got an old favorite like eSignal, which has extremely wide coverage of a whole heap of different markets and they've got their inbuilt eSignal Pro uh, charting package as well as things like QCharts which are kind of variations within that. So again if you've got a data bias that's going to impact the uh, limit your choices and impact you know what kind of charting software you go with. So having said that there are you know three kind of biases either a methodology bias a data bias or a broker bias there is a fourth option which is kind of giving you an open or a flexibility in terms of your choice if you're not sure about your methodology and you want to try different methodologies if you're not sure about your broker or you have one particular broker that you're trying to tie in uh, if you're uh, unsure about your data or you're flexible in terms of the data feed that you want to use there are other options which give you kind of a more open approach to uh, charting software and in terms of these open options I'd say there's about 12 in the market and I mentioned earlier that I wanted to include uh, eSignal and Metastock in here they're kind of more um, open type uh, charting options that are also you know included in the data uh, provider list and we've also got TradeStation here which might also want to be included kind of in the broker list but let's let me just run through the 12 open kind of charting options we've got AMI broker Ensign Windows eSignal Investor RT MetaStock MetaTrader MultiCharts and they've got another uh, forex uh, kind of platform called uh, MCFX uh, NeoTicker NinjaTrader Sierra Chart Trade Decision and Trade Station that list probably isn't complete, but you know, from the research that I've, I've done, I think that's that's a pretty good list. However, probably want to knock out a few of these uh, charting uh, softwares in terms of your consideration. A large user base has a number of advantages in terms of uh, charting software. The first one is the more users there are, there are more dollars that go into development. Charting platforms do evolve over time as markets change, as functionality changes and so on. You need to have a charting software provider that is kind of changing with the times. So that development dollars is important and therefore that large user base is important. The second thing is a large user base then also tends to be supported by a large number of third party tools. So if you want to get a particular add-on tool and you don't want to go with, for example, the advanced get package, the standalone package, you might be chasing that through, for example, eSignal as a tool, an add-on tool that you can get through a another uh, kind of charting platform. And that kind of large user base criteria knocks out, in my view, six of those 12 options. So AMI Broker, Ensign Windows, Investor RT, Neo Ticker, Sierra Chart, and Trade Decision, in my view, don't have the kind of the large user base that really kind of generates that kind of ongoing development and uh, investment by third-party tool providers. 
you might have a, a, a different view. You might be totally committed to, for example, Sierra charts. And you know, I'm sorry if I've offended you with that kind of remark. So of that short, shorter list of six or so programs, let me kind of go through what I see are the kind of the pros and cons. And I've taken this from looking at some of the online forums. I've taken it from kind of personal experience of a couple of these packages that I've owned and used myself. Uh, and then kind of going through the latest kind of uh, brochures and online kind of reviews that there are for these packages.